Setting healthy boundaries with your ex is key to healing and living a productive life. This is evident with Lala and Carmelo Anthony based on Lala's interview with radio host Angie Martinez. Unfortunately, many of us have dealt with or may be currently dealing with heartache from a breakup and did not have the proper tools to heal. This video will bring you value because I'll be discussing three healthy boundaries to set with an ex. The first healthy boundary to set with an ex is to verbalize your concerns with people who want the best for you. When you have friends, family members, and even a counselor or therapist to talk to, you can gain clarity and confidence. This will also prevent you from allowing your emotions to become cloudy by only speaking with your ex about your fears, anxieties, etc. Not being crystal clear about expectations and immediate goals is a recipe for disaster depending on how bad the breakup was. The interview that Lala had with Angie Martinez was extremely valuable because she talked about confiding in friends and family in regards to her divorce with Carmelo. She also spoke about her therapy sessions and how it allowed her to grieve properly and establish an amicable relationship with Melo. Verbalizing your concerns is that much more important when kids are involved. You never want the dynamics to become confusing when you have kids with the other person. The second healthy boundary to set is firmness. You must be able to have a solid and unyielding stance at all times with your ex. Once you have verbalized your concerns and grievances with people who have your best interest in mind, you must then be firm on the non-negotiables, be it that the two of you have agreed to keep the lines of communication open. During my toxic years, I always wanted to play on a woman's weaknesses, especially when it came to my exes. I would do or say anything just to have the opportunity to sleep with them again. I say this because I want to warn you about the mind games that men play and women play when it comes to trying to take advantage of an already unhealthy situation. You must be firm on the physical, sexual, spiritual, and emotional boundaries. If the lines of communication are still open and you prefer for the relationship to remain platonic, it's critical that all needs and desires are agreed upon by both parties. Obviously, no one knows the details of Lala's and Camelo's relationship other than what was stated during the interview, but I'm sure that there has to be a level of firmness from the two of them. The third healthy boundary to set with an ex is to give each other closure. Giving each other closure can go a long way, especially if the relationship was extremely toxic. This requires a great deal of understanding and maturity between the both of you. Despite what Carmela was accused of doing and the evidence that I'm sure Lala had, it seemed as if she handled the divorce with a lot of class and maturity. Again, we don't know exactly what went on behind closed doors, but it seems as if she's handling the breakup and boundaries with class and dignity. I encourage each and every one of you who may find yourself in a similar position to respond in the same manner. If you can, have a final conversation about how things ended and talk about any lingering emotions that are still present. This is essential because properly grieving and obtaining a sense of closure will set you up for success in a future relationship. Odds are, if you spent a significant amount of time with the other person and invested years in the relationship, there will still be a level of love between you two. With this being said, if you would like there to be an open line of communication with your ex, please make sure that both of you are on the same page, because if not, chaos and confusion will quickly set in and you will find yourself in the same place prior to the breakup. If you're struggling with incorporating healthy boundaries with your ex, I have the perfect solution for you. Please sign up for a free one hour coaching session with myself. Email me now at lifecoachjscott at gmail.com. I'm always open for suggestions for video topics, so please let me know what video you'd like for me to create next. Until next time, be safe and take care.